Hi guys, as I'm stuck and today we are looking at the digestive system. So the digestive system is all about transferring food from when you eat it and then when you excrete it at the end and as feces. So the role of digestion is to break down large insoluble molecules into small soluble molecules so that they can be absorbed into our blood as well. So the, at first you have the mouth and this the job of the mouth is to mechanically break down the food. Then uh, you have salivary gland, which releases saliva, and this contains enzymes called amylase. Right, and this um, this is the first stage of br breaking um, up the food. It doesn't break it up loads, but it breaks it up a little bit. Then the esophagus, which is the long pipe, which comes down from the mouth and into the stomach, and that is helps transport food into the stomach. Then the stomach, which is very important, so right in the middle. And that is uh, contains acids to uh, kill bacteria. It can churn food, and it releases digestive juices, which contains some enzymes. Then the liver, which um, produces bile, and that helps the digesters of fat and neutralizes acids from the stomach. So if you know what bile is, sometimes when you're sick and you haven't eaten loads, it's the green thing, and that's bile, um, which can um, help digestors um, of fat. Then the gallbladder, and that's what stores the bile, which again, the bile is, helps the digestion of fat, so yeah. Um, and then the pancreas, and that's um, that produces a, a huge number of enzymes, so that's where really the food is really broken down. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about the enzymes, but the three that are most important are protease, which can break down proteins, uh, lipase, which can break down um, dairy products and things, and amylase, which again... Uh, you may have I've heard um, said this before, and that's in the salivary gland. Um, then it's the small intestine, where food is broken down by enzymes and where nutrients are absorbed into the blood. And a fun fact about the, um, the small intestine is if you stretch it out, it's actually as big as a tennis court. Then the large intestine is where water is absorbed. Then the rectum, which um, is not actually on this um, diagram I've got up for you, but that stores the feces. And then the anus is where it releases the feces from the body. So that's actually how it works when you start eating food. Um, thanks for watching and please visit my website where the link is below and um, subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.